the entrance antiphone on page 154 for Blessed Miguel Augustine Pro. This truly is a martyr who shed his blood for the name of Christ, who did not fear the threats of judges, but attained the heavenly kingdom. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Our God and Father, who conferred upon your servant, Blessed Miguel Augustine Pro, the grace of ardently seeking your greater glory and the salvation of others, grant through his intercession and example that by faithfully and joyfully pro performing our daily duties and effectively assisting those around us, we may serve you with zeal and ever serve your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a, pe or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he established it upon the seas. He founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, 
a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Stay awake, you do, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed the poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have put, those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord in the gospel, in observing the poor widow putting her two coins into the treasury, is speaking about the importance of stewardship, of giving not from surplus, but from uh, ourselves, our livelihood. Today we celebrate the optional memorial of St. Uh, Augustine Miguel Pro. He lived in Mexico. Uh, during the 1920s, during a time of uh, unrest when the government was persecuting and oppressing the church. And as he was being uh, killed, as he was martyred for his death, his last words were, long live Christ the King. Some uh, spiritual author observed, it's very interesting this year that the day after we celebrated the solemnity of Christ the King, we celebrate the optional memorial of Miguel Pro. And we are to all acknowledge Christ as our King and stand up for um, his understanding of life and uh, proclaim him to those we meet. That the church will be a faithful servant of the gospel and direct the people of God toward the promised kingdom, we pray to the Lord. And that world leaders will govern justly and wisely and strive for true peace, we pray to the Lord. That in Christ, the King of justice and life, the evils of abortion, infanticide, and euthanasia may be eliminated from our midst we pray to the Lord that the world's harvest may be gathered and shared among all people, especially those who are in most need, we pray to the Lord. That men and women may generously open their hearts to God's invitation to serve Christ and his church through the priesthood, the religious life, the true married life, and the holy single life we pray to the Lord. For all who are ill with the coronavirus and for all who care for them and for the governments and people of the world that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For the repose of the souls of our parishioners who have died in the last two years, Luke Rank, Martha Burbach, Bernadine Torres, Leona Clohart, Eileen Boltz, Velma Eastman, Teresa Clohart, Dolores Kosmicki, Beatrice Estrada, Verna Kellogg, Shirley Lindenkugel, and the souls of all the faithful departed. 
and that the departed may enjoy the peace and endless life of heaven. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for President Donald Trump, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers, which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Uh, Miguel Augustine Pro overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, blessed Miguel Augustine Pro, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make 
holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphone. I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, Miguel Augustine Pro, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And the prayer to Saint Monica. O oh God, you are the comfort of those who mourn and the Savior of all who trust in you. Blessed Monica's loving tears moved you to convert her son, Augustine. Help us who pray to you for the salvation of our sons and daughters too. May we also grieve for our own sins and win the grace of your pardon through the intercession of this loving saint, through Christ our Lord, amen. Saint Monica, pray for us. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat>